Hello, you two. This is your host, Tommy uh, Cam. I just wanted to run down uh, some thoughts that was coming through my mind of like living in the town of Bloomington, Indiana. We're going to talk about my likes. And dislikes about the two apartments I stayed in. We're going to talk about Bedford, about the group home that I stayed in. We're going to talk about a lot. And, and some more about about the different life hoods you guys can do in Bloomington. So, so first things first is what I want to talk about. It's like Bloomington Transit. Like, like my overall rating on Bloomington Transit. So, so Bloomington Transit is their local, it's their local bus system in Bloomington, Indiana. Kind of like the task bus like the task bus is here in Bedford and the Orange County Transit Authority is in Orange County. Plus also Plus also French Lake Resort has like their 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 own transit system which which, which almost all theme parks have it. And I think the older theme parks has like this thing that's called tramps. And like and like my authorization like on trams, like number one, like, like number one, they do a lot of like, like BT access. You first have to get an ADA certificate approval. And, and then after that, you, um, you have like, like rural transit. Rural Transit, what I think, is kind of an interesting bus system. Because they have it, like, in two different areas, okay? Their main headquarters is like in, it's like in... In the um, in Ellisville, Indiana, and and then after that, they have like they have like one county. It's like three dollars a trip. Six dollar trip is two trip. Door to door service is three dollars. Group call for quote.
then these are their phone numbers for like rural transit. Monroe County and Lawrence County are these exact same phone numbers. They are 812-876-1079. Owen County is 812-829-6066. Putnam County is 765-846-1506. And their frequency for these bus systems, I wouldn't recommend listening to it because they say a lot of personal information. Like they also, they use like an old radio system. Like... Like thinking of it, they don't even have their own privacy channel. They have like either a they have either a, a United channel, which all the buses come on United together. Bedford has their own channel, which I share with Bloomington, but Bedford has like three, three different like, three different bus drivers. And like, and like the task bus, they have an all around dispatchers, but they use three buses. So I think that's really interesting. Plus, plus also, plus also what I think, this is my own opinion, they, they use like, like radio frequencies for like different people. Like, like, like inside, inside like airports, they have their own frequencies. So you guys don't even have to worry about airports have their own frequency. You guys don't have to worry, worry like about different, like, Like, um, like on here, one of the frequencies for the area 10 on aging is 463.400. Now, now that's for their Ellicell area. Because clicking on their call sign they have their Motorola radios. It says on here that they have like, like 100, um, like a lot of people use these radio frequencies. But, but you guys, have to get prior authorization from these people. And then after that, like their residential program for Indiana University, that's another one which I recommend you guys listen to. Because they see some pretty interesting stuff on there. So...
So, also to let you guys know that they have, like, they, they use, like, their different radio frequencies. They use, like, a lot of different stuff in Bloomington. Now, my overview of, like, in Bedford, like, at the Shoswick Fire Department, I thought they were very narrow on, like, their commands. Dispatch is at, at Lawrence County Central HQ, okay? And then after that, Central HQ sends them, like, like a radio transmission and saying, okay, I need to see you guys over here, but... But they do not allow you to do that. Which I think, which is really, really like interesting to myself. And, and you guys seem to look around at that. All right. I'll be posting a part two about this tomorrow. So please keep your eyes out. Or right, YouTube, have a nice day.